You don't tell the truth. You don't call a thing a thing. It's Yes, and that goes on in a lot of family. Friend, I don't know, you may ask yourself, why do people lie so much? I don't understand why people lie. Well, I might have somewhat of an answer, although I might not can answer all the reasons why, but this is what I think here. Um, I think some people lie to protect an image. Have you ever seen the um, reality show Catfish, right? They talk online or if they're interested in someone, and they tell this other person about them and maybe I'm this size and I'm this height and they even put a fake picture up there. When they actually meet each other, they find out that it's totally something different. And I'm gonna tell you friend, a lot of people are catfishing us because they lie. Yes, um, I think we also lie to discount others like when we're in an argument, family and friends, you know, they feud and they have their little spits and spats and their arguments. And sometimes things come up to discount the other party. And then sometimes they lie to make others uh, that they're trying to persuade in the argument. They're trying to make others to feel a certain way about the other person that you're mad with. So what they'll do is lie on the other person in order to make them look good in the situation so that we can side with you. You see what I'm saying? And that goes on a lot. It's like you didn't have a problem with, with it when we were friends. You didn't say anything about it when we were friends. But now since we're mad, you want to bring it up and you want to, uh, you know, lie and make people seem like I was the shady person in the relationship. For example, let's just say, I'm mad with my best friend, my homeboy. He says, you know what? And he, yeah, Pastor Nate ain't no good, y'all. Y'all got a fake pastor. Y'all know he was talking to my wife the other day. You know, so you, you're making people believe that I'm talking to your life, wife. But did you tell the people why I was talking to your wife? See, that's where the lie comes in. Yes, the truth is, and that's what the devil does. He manipulates the truth, right? So the truth is, I was talking to your wife. Okay, but do you know I called your wife because I couldn't get in touch with you to come get your son who I was, who, you know, who we were babysitting. So you didn't tell him that part. You left that part out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. So sometimes we manipulate the truth to get others to believe us and make the other people look bad. Um, we lie so that no one really... No one will discover who we really are. And that happens in marriages. That's why you have a lot of men on downloads, right? They pretend like they love their wives and they got a family, but behind closed doors, they're doing something else. And when I say download, I don't just mean men with men, but I mean men with other women or mean men or women doing other things outside of their marriage on the download. So don't just look at it one-sided. Look at it, anything any sexual activity that's taking place outside of your marriage, that's download to me. People lie. And you'd be surprised. A lot of marriages, they present themselves as, you know, as the perfect marriage unit. But behind closed doors, it's a whole bunch of stuff. So a lot of people live a lot. You have that in pulpits. When you're preachers, they come and tell you how to live. And you're going to hell for this and that and the third. But when they get out the pulpit, they're doing everything. Oh, y'all ain't gonna talk. They're living a lie. So what we do, what they say is the truth. The word of God is the truth. But you're saying the truth, but you're living a lie. That's what makes it a lie. <laughs> so what we have to do, if our pastors are living a lie, we go to church every Sunday to see a, and hear a lie in the pulpit because he's or she is not living what she or he is preaching hypocrisy people we got a lot of that going on in the world today now let's see what the bible says about this proverbs 6 and 17 uh indicates lying as an abomination yes you always look at when women lying with women and men lying with men as an abomination yes according to the law that's an abomination too but nobody really talks about lying Oh, y'all ain't gonna talk to me this morning. 
Proverbs 6 and 17 says, a lying tongue is one of the things that the Lord hates. Right, it's detestable. It's an abomination, according to that scripture, if you read further up. And also verse 19 says, a false witness that spreads lies. Oh my good. We can't cherry pick. You got a lot of people saying, um, you know, you shouldn't be sleeping with this person and that person, that sin, you going to hell for this, but you study lying. That's an abomination too. Nobody talks about that. Come on, somebody. So yeah, it's important to tell the truth, right? You might not look good at first, but in the long run, you will benefit from telling the truth. In fact, you will gain the respect. Telling the truth is not a popular stand, but you hold on to your integrity. And if you're known to tell the truth, you can be trusted. You might make friends mad with you. You might make family members mad with you, but tell the truth. We're, I'm not gonna lie for nobody. Mm, my God in Zion. Here's an example. If my pastor say, well, Pastor Nate, we miss you Sunday. You weren't at church. And I say, well, thank you. I miss being there too, or something like that. Or, you know, what happened, Pastor, we didn't see you at church. Now, I'm not going to lie. So, and I might say, well, you know what? I had to work. But I forgot that I told the pastor two or three days ago that I'm on vacation for the next two weeks. You know what I'm saying? If you lie, you got to really remember what you're talking about. Because if you don't organize your lies, y'all ain't going to talk. And lie right, you'll get tripped up and, and dig a ditch for yourself. I just go ahead and tell the truth. Pastor, I just, you know, I just didn't come Sunday. <laughs> Leave it at that. You grown. Why should you have to lie? It ain't like he gonna whoop you. You, I'm a grown man. Tell the truth. I just didn't come to church. <laughs> Point blank. I didn't have to work. No, I just didn't want to come. Just tell the truth. They might look at you crazy, but tell the truth. Um, also agreeing with other. I mean, you're my best friend. You're my family member, but I'm not going to lie for you. We see a lot of this in the world. We see a lot of this on the YouTube street. People, when they rock with you, they'll condone your lies and they'll lie with you and, you know, pump you up and all this kind of stuff. And they'll agree with everything you do. No, my sister, no, my brother, no, my friend. If you're lying, you're lying and if i'm a friend if i'm a family member then you should trust me to tell you you should be okay with me say you know what sis you know what brother you know i love you and everything but you know that's not the truth we need people like that in our lives don't just go along with me when i'm lying i remember when my grandfather was living uh, a, a long time ago um this was many years ago and um he would say something and if I didn't agree with him, he would get mad at me, say, oh, you're going to call me a lie. Y'all know how folks were back in the day. If you said anything differently, they thought you called them a lie. For example, you know, that boy went in there and he dropped all those eggs. He dropped the whole carton, didn't he, Tank? Didn't he? And I'm like, no, he only dropped two. <laughs> then he get mad. You going to call me a lie? Well, he didn't drop the whole carton. He dropped only two. That's a big difference or that's a 10 egg difference. Y'all ain't gonna say nothing. Telling the truth is the best policy, right? And it lets people know that you can be trusted and it causes you to be credible. I have people say, nah, and I'm not bragging, but I, I want to be an honest person. Say, so, you know, you can ask Pastor Nate. Pastor Nate ain't gonna lie. And I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna tell you the truth. If I feel like I shouldn't answer, I might say, I'd rather not answer that right now or go ask that other person. I'd rather not speak on it. Some people think omission is lying too, but maybe we'll talk about that. If you think omission is lying, let me know. But I feel like sometimes in order not to lie, just don't say nothing at all. Like I say, ain't nobody put no gun to me and say I have to answer questions. Like I say, I'm a grown man. If you ask me something, I don't have to answer you. I can just say, I'd rather not answer. All right, now I'm not, I'm not at liberty to speak on that. Take responsibility and stop lying. Oh, that frustrates me. Cause if you lie, I don't. If you run me lying, I don't know what else you do. You, you might steal and de be deceitful. And you heard me talk about Judas all the time. Cause lying opens the door for other things. I pray that this exhortation bless you this morning. In the meantime, in between time, be at peace and not in pieces. Till next time, my friend.